Hey, Reggie, uh, congratulations on the win. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. What did you what, – obviously, you guys got off to a kind of a slow start. You had the timeout. You guys kind of got back on track. What was said in that timeout that got you guys back on track and really just started the the, the, the threes from raining down? Uh, really, we just got to be better. Uh, we came out here with a game plan, and, you know, we we have our coaches do – they work tremendously hard to come up with a game plan and a scheme. So we got to go out here and execute. We got to go out here and lay it all on the line and find out if it works. And um, early we didn't come out. We felt like we got hit in the mouth rather than come out punching. So we wanted to make sure we responded. We wanted to make sure that we uh, kept our foot on the gas. And we just played with a sense of urgency. So I think we did that after we got um, came from the timeout and we were fortunate enough to, to get some stops. Then get rolling. Thanks. Next we'll go to Ramona. Hey, Reg, how are you? Doing well, um, how are you doing, Ramona? Good, good. Hey, I'm just wondering, um, you know, you, you obviously since you and Paul have been here, you guys go back a long way and your relationship is – for most of your whole career, right? What when he's playing well? What is what is the key for him? And when you're playing well, what's I mean? Do you, are you guys feeding off each other? Is what I'm getting at. Uh, very much so. I mean, when he gets going, you know, I, I definitely I find some extra motivation. I think the whole team we we start riding his wave, we start riding his energy. So he started off hot for us. He started off well, and I liked his aggression tonight. Um, more so, just talking to him. I like the way he kept it simple. He made simple reads, whether it be shooting, whether it be attacking. I think it just made the game easy for him. So once he got the flow going a little bit, get some shots going, and his energy is electric, it's contagious. So once he gets going, we all kind of feed off of it and it makes the game easier for us because uh, I think we've all seen him throughout his years. We all know how he can explode and how he can get going. So it makes the game easier for everybody else once once he starts feeling well. So we're happy that he can get it going and hopefully he continue to, to be in this flow and really just keeping the game, whether it be not necessarily, you know, we're going to shoot well, but – just keeping several plays and, and playing well and playing aggressive and just being himself. And then we'll feed off his energy. Well, thank you, Fred. Thank you, Ramona. Um, next, uh, Rebecca Harlow. Hey, Reggie. You know, before this game, you talked about taking the one-on-one -on -one challenge defensively. And when you look at Donovan Mitchell, you guys held him scoreless in that first quarter. I mean, he found some shots tonight, but it was a lot harder for those points to come by. What did you guys do differently tonight to make things so difficult for him? And, and just talk to me about how you guys really embraced that challenge of the one-on-one -on -one play. Uh, Don is a great player. Honestly, he's one of the better players in this league, one of the best players, especially. Um, shoot, I don't know if he's young enough coming. He's already arrived, and he's, like I said, he's very talented, um, relentless. He's going to attack all night. He's going to make sure that he finds his shots and gives his team the best chance to be in the game and to try to win. So for us tonight um, – I like that we held his field goal attempts to 24. Um, I think guys really came with the mindset to take on the one-on-one -on -one challenge that we talked about before. But honestly, we found another way to load up on him, just try to load up, try to attack him, whether it be sending doubles at times, get the ball out of his hand. Um, we wanted to limit the amount of times that he himself got to attack and just play one-on-one. -on -one. So uh, we're all ready to take that challenge on, but at the same time, we all got to be sitting behind each other, um, ready to help each other. We know it's not – in this league, it's not a one-on-one -on -one game. Um, if it were so – Probably wouldn't be as fun to watch. And there's a lot of great scores. Um, we got guys who get paid a lot of money to score. So when you got somebody that talented out there, that's somebody that, that can fill it up like that, you got to make sure you limit his opportunities. So that's something that we tried to do today and then make sure we were great in rotations out of it. Um, got hit over the head a few times when they were moving the ball, but then we could be better. But I feel like we did a great job, like I said, just limiting his uses rate. Right? So that was something we focused on. Thanks, time for one more. Go ahead, Law. Reggie, I know the game is still fresh, but what do you think is the thing the team needs to do better uh, in on Monday than what they did tonight in game three? Uh, you know, I'm happy with the way we, we protect the ball for the most part. Only nine turnovers. Uh, good to be under 12 probably any time, especially in the playoffs. And ourselves, looking for the most part, what we won the defense or we won the rebounding battle. So, I um, we got a few mistakes, especially defensively, rotation-wise, uh, miscues, just communicating, those type of things, a few breakdowns that we can sure up and then um, still find a way to be better offensively uh, with our spacing, with our pace, and um, just trusting, trusting the guys by you. So offensively and defensively, just learning to trust and just be locked in and stick to the game plan. So those are some things that we can sure up. Um, they still had some open shots that they missed. 
but we felt like we mostly came out here and tried to make it difficult. Like I said, the film's going to tell us where we can improve, but um, fresh my mind, those are two things that we can really focus on.